Hello and welcome to Pike High School, home of the Pike Red Devils. Tonight's matchup consists of the Pike Red Devils and the Brownsburg Bulldogs. Hello again, my name is Graham Shear and let's talk about this great matchup we have in front of us this evening. So Pike and Brownsburg, let's start with Pike. The Red Devils are off to a one and one start through two games in the first season with Jeff Teague back in the Pike Red and Black. Jeff Teague, NBA All-Star and NBA Champion in 2021 with the Milwaukee Bucks will be calling plays as the head coach. A guy who might lead the way tonight for Pike, Damon Howard, who is off to a hot start this season, averaging 16 points a game through two games, will run as the primary ball handler for many plays tonight. Let me tell you, this Pike team is athletic. They're fast, they're strong, and they can shoot the ball. They're going to be tough to slow down. But another team that's tough to slow down, Brownsburg. They're going to have their hands full. But let's talk about the Bulldogs. After a 22-6 20, 20, a record last year, the Bulldogs are off to another great start this year at 3-1 under the coaching regime of Steve Lynch. The Bulldogs graduated a few good players, but Grant Porath still remains and has taken a huge leadership role this year for Brownsburg. He averages over 17 points a game, and he will be hard to slow down as well. Starting lineups and tip-off coming up in just a couple of minutes, but as we get set for this matchup, we'll pause very quickly for the playing of our national anthem. And we welcome you back now after the playing of our national anthem. So the starting lineup is being announced right now for Brownsburg, Grant Porath. He's a 6'1 senior head coach, Steve Lynch for the Bulldogs. Number 22, Josiah Sloss. He's going to be wearing number 22 in black. Number 23, Jordan Lomax. He is a 6'4 senior as well. A couple of seniors in for the Brownsburg Bulldogs. Then we have number 34, Brandon Latimer for Brownsburg, and also number 30, 
Brandon Addison. He is a sophomore, averaging about in the free throw line. Number 23 in white, Titus Hunter. He's a 6'5 junior, seven points, six rebounds. He does it all, seven for 12 from the field. And lastly, Muna Newman, number 50 in white. He's a 6'4 sophomore under Jeff Teague with the Red Devils, five points and four rebounds for Pike. So there's the starting five for Pike. Starting five for Brownsburg. Again, Porat, Josiah Sloss, Jordan Lomax, Brandon Addison, and Brandon Latimer. Latimer, a 6'5 senior, will do most of the heavy lifting today in the middle, although jumping the ball up for Brownsburg will be Jordan Lomax. He is in the center circle. Four eight-minute quarters left to decide this one. And in the center circle for Pike will be Titus Hunter, the 6'5 junior. Pike's one and one, Brownsburg is three and one. The Bulldogs have played two extra games than the Red Devils so far early on in the year. We are set for this one. Eight minutes on the clock. And we're underway. Brownsburg looks like they won the tip, but it's gonna go out of bounds to Pike. So a poor tip there for Lomax and that one, he was not able to control it. Brownsburg wasn't able to control the tip, so Pike has an early possession. The Red Devils need to throw in. Finally, Hall's gonna come over, and he'll throw in. First possession, Damon Howard. He's the guy who, he's had the season high 21 points for Pike. He had that just a couple of days ago against Indy Metro, and that first shot is off. So rebound to Latimer. Bulldogs with the first possession here. They like to shoot it as well, but they're only shooting 25% from downtown, 39% on total field goals. Brownsburg had a 22 and six record last year. This is Porath, now out into the corner for Sloss. Looks like they'll reset here. Lomax, Lomax saw a hole, stopped and pivots and kicks it back out. A lot of ball movement here. Sloss will try one, and that one's good. Free throw line jumper, and Sloss buries it. So first bucket to Brownsburg. Here on the other end, it's Spates. Spates saw lane, picks up his dribble. Finds Hunter, who'll have to kick it back out. Jean Hall lost it, got it back, and Brownsburg dives on the floor. Great hustle by Porath, who has it now. And he got it off to Addison. Sloss again has the first field goal. Lomax. Lomax drives and he can't finish. Wild shot taken by the Red Devils. A minute and a half gone here. Howard into the corner for Spates. Buries a triple. And the Pike Red Devils have the early lead here. A minute and 40 seconds in. Now they'll draw up the full court press. Can Addison break it? They do pretty easily with a couple of passes. Lomax to the rim. He hangs, but he cannot finish. But he got fouled, so he'll go to the line. Jordan Lomax, he's a 6'4 senior for Brownsburg. He hasn't missed a free throw this year. He's four for four from there for Brownsburg. This will be a fun matchup here. Both teams extremely athletic. Brownsburg has just played a couple extra games than Pike so far, and it they have a couple extra wins as Lomax misses his first free throw of the season. And he got that one. So goes one for two and splits at the pair at the line. Ties it at three. Howard quickly the other way to Spates in the corner. He'll drive and he hangs and he got the finish. Five quick points for Coriel Spates. Couple of nice takes by him and a great three-pointer. Just one possession to go. Lomax now, he'll kick out. And the drive by Sloss, floats it up, misses badly, going the other way. Sloss tried to go high off the glass, but he got well too high, so Pike will have the possession now. And already a quick start for the Red Devils with a couple of buckets by Coriel Spates. Howard has attempted one shot, the first shot of the game for Pike. And he'll bring it up the court. 
Pretty full house here at Pike High School this evening. They all expecting a great game as Howard got inside, could not make the shot though. There on the rebound was Hunter, but he got it knocked away. Shot was no good as well. Porat drives to the bucket, hit the bottom of the rim. Howard, Pike with numbers ahead, and the finish, no, it got blocked, but a foul. That was Dejon Hall who was skying, and the foul was by Brandon Addison. Could have been a dangerous play. Luckily, nobody ended up hurt there, and the foul's gonna go Brandon Addison, number 30 in black, out there about midcourt, wearing the goggles tonight. For Brownsburg, and to the line, Dejon Hall, number 22, the lefty, the 6'4 sophomore. He's six for eight from the free throw line this season, make it six of nine as he leaves the first one short. Pike has, sta has uh, started Langston Tube quite a few in the first two games at center, but he is going to be off the bench tonight as Moon and Newman, number 50 in white, will get the start. He's number 50. He's playing in the paint down on the left side of your screen. As Hall hit the second free throw, so he split the pair. Six to three lead, Sloss thought about it. He'll kick it inside, back out to Sloss. Thought about it again, he'll pull a long two, he left it just short, and there's Newman on the board. Howard quickly the other way, and Spates will tee one up for three. Coriel Spates, eight first quarter points, and we are just over five, just over three minutes into this one. Here's Addison. He'll drive with the left and kick it out to Porath, who's only taken one shot. Addison not shy, and he hits another three. So two threes for Brownsburg. And it's nine to six. Spates has the hot hand. Howard will try and get going, and he left it short on a three. Brandon Addison has the ball for Brownsburg. Outside to Latimer. Latimer, a tall 6'5 senior. He hasn't shot the ball yet either. Now here's Lomax. He'll take a screen from Latimer. Had nowhere to go with it. Now Porath from the other side. Four minutes, 15 seconds into this one. 340 on the game clock here in the first quarter. Just one foul, that one by Pike. One team foul by Pike. Couple by Brownsburg here. Now Porath, inside pass, tipped right into the hands of Hunter. And this is Hall, can't finish quickly the other way, but he couldn't get it to go. Now Lomax, sidestep, couldn't get that one to go. And Newman, Got pushed out of bounds, but no call. So it's going to be out on Brown or out on Pike, and it'll be Brownsburg ball. Looks like Hunter and Howard are going to come out of the game for Pike. Into the game, T.J. Davis, as well as Langston Tube. Tube's gotten two starts. This one, he'll he came off the bench. He's number 42 in white there in the corner. A couple subs as well for Brownsburg. Spencer Porath into the game. He's number three in black out there with Grant Porath. And also another sub, Caden English into the game. He has the ball now up top. Here's Addison down low to Porath outside and a three by Lomax is too strong. Rebound down to Hall. Hall will bring it the other way. 240 on the game clock. Here's a three by Davis and it's too strong. And the rebound's going to go out of bounds off of Brownsburg. So it will be Red Devil ball. Nine to six here. Pikes, eight of their nine points have came from Cordiel Spates, who's still out there on the court. Number 12 in white for Pike. He's a 5'11 senior. He can really shoot the ball. He's hit a couple of threes, but coming into this one, he was only one of five. Like I mentioned, he had a kind of a slow start, but he's already two for two from three in this one. And Titus Hunter back into the game. Here's another three by Spates, and that one's pure. Corey L. Spates, he is hot. 
11 points to outscore the Bulldogs by himself. He'll try and lock up Addison here. What a first quarter for Coriel Spates, who was only averaging three points a game coming into this one. Already quick 11 as Lomax too strong on a three. And the board down to Chube, ahead to Hall. Looking for Spates, lost it out of bounds off of himself. Poor handling that time by Hall, so a turnover. And Brownsburg will have it the, going the other way with it. An exciting first quarter so far. Spates has hit a couple of bombs, and Brownsburg a couple of threes himself. And it's 12 to 6. On for the first time is the freshman, Aiden Woods. He's guarding the ball right now for Pike. And he is going to be credited with a foul as Addison drew the contact. Wait, Woods is a 5'8 freshman who has hit a couple of threes himself. He's three for 10 from behind the arc in two games. And he's averaging eight points a game, five for 16 from the field. That was Davis who got bumped. Porath into the corner outside. And a cutting English won't get a shot off. That's going to be the third team foul on Pike. That one's going to go on Langston Tube. Number 42 in white will pick up his first. Minute 38 to go. This has been a quick first quarter here. English off the inbound pass finds a cutting Brandon Addison and an easy lay in for number 30. That was a nice looking play there. Brownsburg drew up. Woods drove in, and it was Chube who had it taken away, but it might have been a slap on the wrist, and I think it'll be a foul. It will. That's going to go on Spencer Porath. That'll be his first. Number three in black picks up his first. And that's the team's third for Brownsburg. So this is Woods throwing in. Aiden Woods, the freshman, spikes. Another three. Couldn't get it that time. Lomax lost it. A turnover and a foul. Lomax a little bit too aggressive here. Under a minute to go. Here in the opening quarter, Pike off to a blistering hot start by the hands of Coriel Spates, who finally missed his, his first three of this evening. But what a first quarter it's been. 12 to eight is your score right now. Woods got trapped. He lost it, but into the hands of Hunter, who almost tried to throw it out of bounds. And now here's a steal in transition. It was Davis who took it away. Now Davis out to Spates for three. Coriel Spates, 14 first quarter points, and he has the Pike Red Devils up 15 to 8. Here's Porath. He'll try and answer, and he does. What a clutch three there by, by uh, Spencer Porath, the lefty. Aries a three from the corner, makes it a four-point game. Woods will bring it across. Spates out to Woods. Two seconds on the clock. They have to fire one up. They do, and it rolls in. Titus Hunter, a little floater, and he got it to go. What a first quarter for Pike. 17 to 11 is your score, and the Red Devils off to an extremely hot start for Pike. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment here on RDTV.
Welcome back to Pike High School. Second quarter, getting ready to get underway. This evening's stream is brought to you by the students and staff of Pike High School's RDTV Media Production class, which gives students the opportunity to have real-world hands-on experiences with support from the MSD of Pikes Township's IT department. Real quick, while we also have a moment, no matter where you live, you belong in Pike. The MSD of Pikes Township is excited to offer exceptional learning opportunities to all students, regardless of residency. Families who do not live in Pike Township can visit our website, msdpike.org, for more information. Second quarter, getting ready to get back underway. We have one sub for Pike, Mike Irving, the 5'10 junior, number 10, in a white jersey into the game for the first time. Chub out there with Muna Newman along with along with Aiden Woods and TJ Davis still out there. And now Newman will go back to the bench and back onto the court is Titus Hunter. There's some confusion at the scores table. And looks like Newman will check in at the next dead ball. So Hunter starts the quarter on the floor. Here is English outside to Porath, who just hit a three to end the quarter. And that was Michael Addison, who had the ball number five in black, checks in for the first time. Over to Porath. In the corner for Porath, down low. And that was English outside. Grant Porath for three, no good. Tipped out by Spencer Porath. Porath to the rim, got blocked, out of bounds. Titus Hunter there to swat it away. Great defense by Pike in that first quarter, holding the Bulldogs, who averaged 56 points a game to just 11 points. Pike, however, they averaged 64 points a game as a three is missed from the corner by Michael Addison, but the offensive board, and here is Brandon Addison. Brandon playing catch with Michael, both Addison. Porath, two brothers on the court, Addison and Porath. Here's Grant Porath to English. He'll take a shot at the rim, mixed, missed it though. Nice hustle by Spencer Porath who comes up with the ball and a travel. They'll call it on Brownsburg, they'll call it on Spencer Porath and a turnover on the Bulldogs. Quickly, are you a friend? Are you or are you a friend or a family member interested in becoming a Pike employee? We post all of our MSD of Pike Township's job vacancies on our website at msdpike.org. If you're interested in working with the wonderful children and a great school system in the most incredible community around, check it out. Foul down low. Mike Irving brought it up. Foul's gonna go on Pike. It'll be an offensive foul on Titus Hunter. They were trying to get him out of the game. They couldn't. Now they do with the foul. Moonen Newman checks in for him and also onto the floor for the first time. The 6'4 junior, Jalen Ashley. He's number 24 for Pike. Brownsburg has it. Addison playing catch. English throws it out of bounds. Looking for Spencer Porath, but they weren't on the same page. Pardon, that's actually Grant Porath he was looking for. Both of them look extremely similar, so hard to tell them apart sometimes. The only way you can is by the number, and that's Spencer Porath, who will check out for Brownsburg. Back onto the game is Josiah Loss. Here's Irving into the corner for Woods. He'll float it up, a little scoop shot, but awkward, and it missed an air ball, Addison in transition. Outside to Grant Porath. Porath, outside to Michael Addison. Addison a grade above Brandon. Also into the game last dead ball was Latimer, and here's a turnover. Pike lost it, ahead to Davis. Now outside to Woods. And now here's a three ball, and that one's good. Jalen Ashley goes two for four from the three-point line on the season in a timeout by Steve Lynch. Going to have to burn one here as the Bulldogs are going to have to talk about it. Pike is red hot here. Brownsburg not really sure what to do with them right now. Pike doesn't seem like they've missed many threes, does it? They are on fire. 
We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our friends at Corteva AgroScience for supporting Pike's success. Corteva regularly invests their time, expertise, and capital in a variety of initiatives and activities that positively impact our schools. We'll take one quick break and be back. 5.38 to go here in the second quarter. Take a break here on, the, on RDTV. Back out of the timeout and back here on RDTV. Pike with a nine point lead here. Same five back out on the floor for Brownsburg. And looks like it's the same five back out on the floor for Pike. No, excuse me, Damon Howard just checked back in. So Howard back onto the floor. He's down low guarding Grant Porath. So a couple of stars, Howard and Porath guarding each other. And now a switch as Woods goes on to Porath here. Porath outside. Now a driving Lomax floats it in. A nice looking shot there by Jordan Lomax, who got the nice bucket. Here is Mike Irving, four points a game. Another three, this one off by Ashley. Board, Lomax quickly the other way, got a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line on the shot. Looks like the foul is going to go on Pike's Mike Irving, number 10. That's going to be his first foul and the team's second for Pike here in the quarter. Almost three minutes into this one, but still 5.06 to go. And Brownsburg's Jordan Lomax to the line. He missed the first free throw, only shooting 52% from the line on the season, Jordan Lomax. The Pike Township Educational Foundation exists solely to enhance the education of Pike students through scholarships and grants for educator-driven projects. Since its founding in 1993, the Pike Township Educational Foundation has awarded nearly a half million dollars in scholarships and over $650,000 in grants. To learn more, please visit www.pike-ef.org. Second free throw, good by Lomax. So splits the pair and makes it a six-point game. A little run here for Brownsburg. They've scored the last three points. Can the Red Devils answer? Spades back into the game, has to kick it out though. Now we're three minutes and 10 seconds into this quarter. Here's Spates. That one wedgies into the rim and it'll be rebounded by Latimer. Grant Porath, other way. And he lost it. That was Sloss who lost it. Numbers for Howard. He will lay it in. Jordan, Damon Howard, pardon. It was Sloss who lost it. Howard the other way for the easy bucket. Makes it a, again an eight-point lead for the Red Devils. Here's an open three. Michael Addison got fouled. He airballed it, but he'll go to the line. A foul on Titus Hunter on the closeout. Runs into the body of Addison, and he will go to the line. So two free throws, pardon, three free throws for Michael Addison. He's only shot one free throw coming into today. But he's going to have three of them here. He's one for one on the season. Make it one for two as he misses that one. While we have a second, special thanks to our Pike Proud partners at the Ortho Indy Foundation YMCA for supporting our Pike staff so they can support our Pike students and families. In addition to offering all MSD of Pike Township staff a 15% discount on YMCA memberships, this year the YMCA offered our teachers and staff of the year a free three, three to six month membership and provided our district teacher of the year a complimentary one year membership. Thanks to the YMCA for their ongoing efforts to help us prioritize the health and well-being of our students and staff. Third free throw by Addison. Finally gets one to go. So he goes one for three, hit the last one. Howard has it on the wing. Beat his man, but he could not finish, and he fell hard, but he's going to get up 
a little gingerly. Here he comes down the floor. Here's a three by Lomax. He got it to go. Cuts the lead down to four. And all, just all of the sudden, Brownsburg starting to get back into this one. Already seven second quarter points here. And here's a drive by Hall, who tried to reverse it, couldn't get it. Second rebound to Lomax here. Lomax down the floor, lost it. Another rebound, another steal pardon, I should say, by Howard. Hall to the rim. He got met at the summit. Nice defense by Brownsburg. And the rebound to Addison, who will flip it in on the other end. Look at Brandon Addison slicing and dicing his way to the rim. Hall faked off a man with a pass, misses the jumper. Brandon Addison, he found a lane, shoves off, got the shot to go. Brandon Addison ties it at 22. Timeout, Pike. Eight straight points by the Bulldogs. And Brownsburg ties it at 22 with 2.56 to go. What an answer by the Bulldogs. We'll take a quick break and be back after the end of this timeout here. You're watching Pike Basketball here on RDTV. Back here at Pike High School, 22 apiece. So basically starting over from scratch here, basically zeros on the board and 2.56 on the game clock before the half. Should be an interesting close to the half as Bulldogs from Brownsburg are on a bit of a run here. Can Pike answer? They'll get it started here with Damon Howard, who kept his pivot foot nicely. He was Spates, who had 14 first quarter points, hasn't scored here in the second. Here is Spates, dancing on Addison. He'll have to hand off, and here's Damon Howard. Howard, maybe the most athletic player on the team. Here's a shot in the corner. Mike Irving, too strong. Offensive board, maybe. It's Newman, got tied up with Latimer, and the arrow favors Pike, so it'll stay on this side of the floor, and the Red Devils will retain possession. Arrow flips back the other way, so next jump ball will should go to Brownsburg. And Damon Howard will throw in. 2.20 here in the quarter. Howard will have to fire into the backcourt. And it will go into the hands of Dijon Hall. So Hall will walk it up. Over to Spates. Spates drives and kicks out to Irving. Won't try it this time. He'll float it up and in. Great take by Mike Irving on his way to the cup. That's his first bucket. He's had a couple of three-pointers that he's missed. Spencer Porath fell down, and the pass nearly out of bounds. Lomax tracks it down. Irving hounding defense. Here's Grant Porath. Porath and Addison to Addison, who will float and got it to go. Hang time for Michael Addison. Spates to the rim, reverses, no good. Brownsburg with numbers, and Porath can't finish it. Ball's on the ground, who's gonna come up with it? Ball now over, and Spates picks it up. A lot of energy here in this building. You can tell the student section on your screen now, and also these Pike fans are ready to explode at any moment as we're all tied up at 24. 
under a minute to go before halftime. Hall to the rim, can't get it. And Vladimir will rip away the board. Lomax drives into the body of Mike Irving, and that's going to go as a foul. Irving picks up his second, number 10 in white. Second foul. That is the fourth team foul for Pike. So not quite the bonus yet for Brownsburg. Porath will throw in. And pardon, that's actually J.D. Lynch who will throw in. Lynch has only played in one game so far this year, the 5'6 senior. Here he has it out at midcourt. Number 10 in black, J.D. Lynch. Now over to Michael Addison. Addison's played well here. He hit the last bucket on a floating layup under 30 seconds to go. Lomax, he'll drive. Brownsburg doesn't have to shoot it, but they do, and they miss. Newman with the rebound. He picks up the loose ball. Now Spates ahead almost lost it. Howard has an open lane, and he'll drive to the cup, plus a foul. Damon Howard took the contact, got the bucket to go. He'll go to the line with 14.3 seconds. Howard got hit in the head on his way to the rim. You can tell Howard just has that enormous quick first step and it seems like every single time he beats his defender off the dribble. Howard can do that anytime he wants. He has missed a couple of layups, but he did not miss that one. And the Bulldogs pay the price as Howard buries the free throw. He was six for eight from the line before that shot makes him seven for nine. Just over 80%. Under 10 seconds to go. Brownsburg probably hold for the final shot. Blocked out of bounds by Newman, and it goes off of Spates. So Brownsburg has 4.4 seconds left. They're going to have to run a quick play here. J.D. Lynch is set to throw in. Will he throw in? Yes, he will. 4.4 on the clock. They'll look out. It got stolen. Pike, Howard, he has a lane. He finishes. And that will be the end of the first half as Damon Howard Got the steal off the bad pass on the inbounds. J.D. Lynch threw it away, and Howard took it the length of the floor in four seconds. What a end of the half for Pike as they go up by five. 29-24 is your halftime score. An electrifying first half of basketball here. And 10 minutes until the second half gets underway. So we'll take a quick break and be back for second half action. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Pike High School right here on RDTV. Here in Pike Township, we have award-winning schools, award-winning educators, amazing facilities, award-winning programs, high-achieving scholars, award-winning alumni, and we're just getting started. I'm Madison, and we want to know your holiday wishes. I'm here with Sean, I'm here with Carmelo, I'm here with AJ, and we want to know your holiday wishes. Uh, my holiday wish is uh, a drum set and uh, spend the holidays with my family. All right. Uh, my holiday wishes is to spend time with my family and to make memories. Well, I have two holiday wishes. Um, it's to get everything I ask for Christmas and make sure everybody's happy in my house. Personally, my holiday wishes are to spend time with family and drink some hot chocolate. Those are your holiday wishes. Back to the studio. What's up? It's Elijah with your Riddle of the Week. What's up? It's Elijah with the Riddle of the Week. I'm here with Chris. I'm here with Caden. I'm here with Amir. All right, so here's your riddle. What never talks but always responds when spoken to? 
I would say probably like Siri. Close, close. She does, but it's not Siri. What talks are you responsible for spoken to? Uh. An echo. He's right, but he Googled it. He Googled it. <laughs> That's all for your riddle of the week. Back to the studio. I'm Jemiah with RDTV, and we want to know your holiday wishes. I'm here with Annie. What are your holiday wishes? Uh, my holiday wishes is that it snows on Christmas and New Year's. Okay. For Griffin, what are your holiday wishes? Um, I wish that I get to spend time with family and uh, give gifts to others. I'm here with Sarah. What are your holiday wishes? One good $100, and that would be perfect. And then, if I couldn't choose money, then I would probably have to choose, like, a video game or something. My holiday wish is to get some good sleep. That was your holiday wishes. Back to the studio. I'm Chef Stephen Putnam with Chartwells. Today we're going to be making a classic chicken parm, a basil pesto penne pasta, roasted zucchini and yellow squash. Some of the items are from the Pike Red Zone Food Pantry. Some of the items are from Eastbrook Elementary Community Garden. Let's get started. Now we've cooked our chicken breast to 165 degrees. Now we just need to top it with our sauce, our shredded mozzarella, and we're gonna throw it back in the oven for about five minutes. Okay, now we're gonna make our basil pesto. And I am using like a food processor, but you can use any kind of blender that you would like. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our parsley, add our basil leaves, Parmesan, three cloves of garlic. Today, I'm gonna be using walnuts. In the recipe, and traditionally, it calls for pine nuts. Now we're gonna add olive oil. Start with a little bit of salt and pepper. What I like to do is slowly add a little bit more olive oil until it's the consistency that I like. Now we have pesto. Now we need to take our finished pasta. We need to add our basil pesto. We need to cut our zucchini and summer squash. We're gonna cut it into these little half moon shapes. We'll take all that and we'll put it into a mixing bowl. A little olive oil. I have a baking pan here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put that on the pan, spread it out. Now we're gonna throw it into our 400 degree oven. And this should be in there for about 12 minutes. And we have a full meal here. Classic chicken parmesan, basil pesto penne pasta, roasted zucchini. Hmm, delicious. Here in Pike Township, we have award-winning schools. Award-winning educators. Amazing facilities. Award-winning programs. High Achieving Scholars. Award winning alumni. And we're just getting started.
Welcome back to Pike High School. Second half being getting started here in about 20 seconds. Again, Brownsburg and Pike. The Bulldogs and the Red Devils here from Pike High School. A fun matchup in the first half in which Pike had a big lead after the first quarter. Brownsburg was able to fight it back and Pike took a five point lead to close out the second quarter. They lead by 29 to 24, a five point margin for Pike as the Red Devils will come out of the locker room with that five point lead. And Brownsburg will have their hands full in the second half. We'll see if they can take more care of the ball and take more advantage on offense here in this second half. The starting fives back on the floor for both sides, and it will be Bulldog ball. Possession for Brownsburg here to start off the second half of play. Sloss there in the corner. Up top, Brandon Addison. Over to Lorax, Lomax, pardon. Now here's Grant Porath. Outside to Sloss, Sloss driving. He'll have to go out and retreat back outside the arc. Lomax over to Porath. Long-winded possession here for Brownsburg. Porath to the rim. Nice layup to get the second half underway. Grant Porath able to cut the lead down to three here. Just 40 seconds into the play of the second half. First possession for Pike. It's Damon Howard, who had a couple of buckets to end the first half. That's going to be a foul on the drive. Foul's going to go on Brownsburg. That'll be their team's first, and that foul is going to go on Jordan Lomax, number 23 in black. Picks up his second for Brownsburg. So first team foul. 7-10 on the game clock here in the third quarter. Howard inbounds out to Hall right at midcourt. Didn't step on the timeline. Referee had to check it. Here's Hall. Found a lane, split the defense, got fouled. Second team foul now. Less than a minute in. Already two team fouls on Brownsburg. That one's going to go on Grant Porath. And that's going to be his first foul, number 11 in black. So second team foul. Howard will inbound. Hall, here he is again. One minute into this third quarter. One bucket for Brownsburg. The lead is three for Pike. Howard got shut off. He'll have to come back out to midcourt. Now he'll call for a screen from Newman. Has some space, kicks it over to Spates, who had 14 first quarter points. Didn't score in the second quarter. Will he score here in the third? Damon Howard looking for his shot, drives to the rim, got the blocking foul. It's going to go on Brownsburg, and that's going to be the third team foul already here in the third quarter, and it'll be free throws for Damon Howard. 6.33 to go here in this third quarter. Howard, who has shot one free throw today, it was off of a three-point play in that second quarter. And he misses this one, so now he's one for two from the line. And he is seven for ten on his first ten free throws of this season. So 70% foul shooter, Damon Howard. He's in his junior year, a six-foot junior. Averaging 16 points a game for Pike. This evening's stream is brought to you by the students and staff of Pike High School's RDTV Media Production Class, which gives students the opportunity to have real-world hands-on experiences with support from, MS, from the MSD of Pike Township's IT department. Second of two free throws, good for Howard. He's now eight for 11 on the season from there, from the stripe. Four-point lead for the Red Devils. Here's Addison. Germany now to midcourt over to Porath. Has the Bulldogs only bucket here in the third quarter. Lomax now in the corner. This is Spencer Porath who kicks out to his brother. And this one's Grant Porath who drills a three, cuts the lead to one. This is going to be a full timeout by head coach Jeff Teague. And Pike will have to take a break. We'll do the same. What a start to the second half for Brownsburg. And Grant Porath already has five points here in the third quarter, less than two minutes in. One point lead for Pike, back in a minute here on RDTV. Thank you. 
Are you a friend or a family member interested in becoming a Pike employee? We post all of our MSD of, town, of Pike Township job vacancies on our website at msdpike.org. If you're interested in working with wonderful children and a great school system in the most incredible community around, check it out. Pike has possession here. Up by one, and Damon Howard will take it the other way here. Hall. Almost lost his balance, but he still has possession. Under over two minutes gone here in this third quarter as Hall to the rim. He hangs and he got fouled on the shot, so he missed, his, he missed the shot, but he's going to go to the line, and the foul is going to go on Jordan Lomax. Lomax number 23 for Black. He's going to pick up his third foul, Jordan Lomax, and he is going to be in a little bit of foul trouble here as Dejon Hall goes to the line. And he missed his first free throw. Again, the foul on Jordan Lomax, the third foul on him, and he's going to have to check out with those three fouls. Lomax goes over to the bench, and checking in for Lomax is Michael Addison. As the second free throw, good by Dijon Hall. Makes it a two-point lead as the full court press up again for, uh, for uh, Pike here. Brownsburg breaks it easily, though. Porath out to Porath. Back to Porath. Here's Brandon Addison. And a foul on Pike. Well away from the basket, out beyond the three-point line. Foul, foul goes on Titus Hunter. Number 23 for Pike. Hunter picks up his second foul. And Porath will take it for Brownsburg. Has a lane, had to kick out though. Brandon Addison. Addison, the sophomore, thinking about a shot. He'll instead kick it in. And here's Spencer Porath backing down. Kicks it out. Latimer. Here's Addison. Guarded heavily by Chube. Chube staying with him, Addison dancing. Three minutes gone here in the third quarter. Under five in the on the game clock, and that shot was missed, but a late whistle, and they're going to call a shooting foul on Pike, and Grant Porath will go to the line. Foul. Foul goes on Titus Hunter, who picks up his second here in the quarter. He's picked up a couple of quick ones. Titus Hunter, number 23 for White. He's standing there at the bottom of the uh, of the lane. And Grant Porath misses the first free throw. Porath doesn't miss many free throws. 82% from the line here in his senior year on the season through four games. Doesn't miss many. He averages 17 and a half points a game. And there he is hitting his second. So he splits the pair. Cuts the lead back to one. Hall the other way for Pike. Hall floats. Left the shot short, though. Poor at the rebound. Spencer, that is. Over to Michael Addison. Up top, Grant Porath. We'll take a screen. Into the corner for Michael Addison. Here's Spencer Porath, floats, and he got fouled. A quick whistle by the referees here in this third quarter, and a lot of fouls being called. That's going to be another team foul on Pike, and this foul is going to go on Muna Newman, number 50. That's his second foul. Newman for Pike in the white jersey. That picks up his second into the line. This is Spencer Porath, who also shoots 82% from the the, uh, the charity stripe. And there he is tying the game at 31. So Spencer Porath, another senior for Brownsburg at the line here. Brandon Letimer checks out and back into the game. Caden English as Porath's Free throws are both good, and the Bulldogs go back up by one here. Pike will be forced to answer. And Howard will dribble the other way. He split the double team, has a lane to the bucket, left the shot short though. Newman there for the board and the finish. Muna Newman crashing the boards, averaging four rebounds a game, averaging five points, and he got a, a rebound and a bucket there. 
Here's Grant Porath, who's been hot this quarter so far. Already has six points, got fouled by Damon Howard. Howard is irate with the call, looking at the official, and he is not happy with that one. Like I said, the officials are a little bit quick with the whistle here in this third quarter. Don't want to see things get out of hand, but that foul will go on the ground. That's the fourth team foul on Pike. This one goes on Damon Howard. That's his first. And now we have Brandon Addison who kicks inside. Now it's back outside. English will drive and kick out. Addison into the corner. Porath nearly stepped on the sideline. Here's Spencer Porath. He'll drive. Here's English again. Outside Grant Porath. Nothing working on this possession for the Bulldogs. Spencer to Grant. Grant, nice, nifty moves, and he floats it in with the right hand. With his offhand, Brownsburg goes up by another point here. Grant Porath, eight third quarter points already. Damon Howard, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Damon Howard drove right into the body of a Bulldog. I'm not sure which Porath is on the ground. Look, I believe that's Spencer Porath it is. So Spencer Porath, a little bit shaken up on the play. <coughs> and the training, the, the, uh, the trainers are going to have to go out and check on him. And also out there is head coach Steve Lynch. And while we have a minute, we're going to take a quick break while they help him out. So 34-33, 3.11 to go. Back in a minute here on RDTV. Back here at Pike High School. Good to see Spencer Porath walking off the court under his own power, but he's gonna go to the bench and he'll sit down and get a quick breather here. And right now he's holding his head. So replacing him out there will be Brandon Latimer back onto the court to replace him. Also some new Red Devils out there. Tony Akimbabola onto the court for the first time. A 6'2 senior who's famous for his football here at Pike High School, but right now he's number 40 in white, getting some play on the basketball court, and a three is short, and the rebound by Akinbabola. Some subs as well, TJ Davis on the court. He got blocked and sat down by Latimer, but Latimer got called for the foul, and that'll send TJ Davis to the line. Howard out there with Davis. Aiden Woods, Akeem Babola, and also Titus Hunter on the court playing with three fouls. And TJ Davis will go to the line. No matter where you live, you belong in Pike. The MSD of Pike Township is excited to offer exceptional learning opportunities to all students regardless of, res of residency. Families who do not live in Pike Township can visit our website, msdpike.org, for more information. TJ Davis. Hit the first free throw, ties it at 44. This would give Pike back the lead, and he got it to rim in. So, boy, one point lead for the Red Devils. As we near the end of this third quarter, don't go anywhere. The fourth quarter is going to be just as exciting. If you're just joining us, it's been a fun game so far. Pike had a big first quarter lead by 14 points by Coriel Spates. And Brownsburg has fought back well here, and they fought back here in this third quarter extremely well. They've taken the lead a couple times here in the quarter as Addison can't give him the lead that time. Offensive board, though, and that is English who got the shot to miss. Davis on the offensive has to kick out and back to Howard. Woods to the corner. Davis floats it up, got it to roll in. Davis, four third quarter points, and he puts the Pike Red Devils back up by three. Go, 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 go. 
Horath in the corner, ties it at 37. What a big shot by Grant Porath. The number on his jersey, the number of points he has in the quarter, 11 of them. Ties it at 37 for Brownsburg. Here's Akeem Babola, lost it, stolen by Porath. Numbers for Brownsburg, Addison knocked away by Woods, couldn't save it. That was Howard who was diving out of bounds and it will be Pike basketball. Pardon, pardon, it'll be Brownsburg basketball. It was out on Pike who couldn't save it. A wonderful block though in transition off of the Brownsburg steal. Here's Porath, he's been hot. Finally misses and an offensive board though. Outside, Porath will try it again and he hit it again. Grant Porath pouring it on here in the third quarter, 14 points. He's nearly matched his high in his average here in the third quarter alone. Here's a three, that one's good. TJ Davis with the answer to tie it at 40. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. If you like basketball, this is the place for you. A couple of juggernauts throwing some haymakers this evening. And we are all tied at 40. So a new game from here. Outside, Addison passes up the three. Hands off to Addison, his brother, 20 seconds. Addison, down low, pass, kicks out. Michael Addison, up top, English, pass is tipped away. He got it back. He got triple, quadruple team, and it goes off, out on him. Caden English lost it out of bounds. Great defense by the Red Devils, and they will have the last shot in the quarter. 9.4 seconds to go. Ball in the hands of Damon Howard, the six-foot junior. Two seconds, one second. He's going to have to fire it up. He does just short. And we'll go into the fourth quarter, the final eight minutes, all tied at 40. What a game. One quarter to decide this one. Don't go anywhere. You do not want to miss the conclusion of this one as we're all tied at 40. Back in just a moment here on RDTV. Back here at Pike High School, start of the fourth quarter. And as you see on your screen, this fourth quarter, we're starting from scratch. Starting all over again as if the game is brand new. 40 to 40, call it 0-0, should be a fun fourth quarter. Howard hands off, here is Davis. Drives in, floats it up, left it short. Nice tip in though. I believe they'll credit the basket to Akeem Babola. I'm not sure if that was Akeem Babola or Titus Hunter. It looked like both of them might have got a fingertip on it. Nonetheless, the Red Devils go up by two and a foul. It's going to go on Pike and it's going to go on Aiden Woods as it was Brandon Addison taking it to the rim. So first team foul. Foul again on Aiden Woods. That's his second. Aiden Woods, number 20 in white. The freshman, the 5'8 freshman, averaging about eight points a game. Here is Grant Porath, who had 14 points in that third quarter. Got the ball knocked out, cannot get the shot to go. Rebound down to TJ Davis. Already a two point lead. Davis can't make it a four point lead, but a foul, and he'll go to the stripe to make it to extend the lead for the Red Devils. 
What a day by T.J. Davis. Playing extremely well for the Red Devils. Going to the line yet again, the 5'9 sophomore. Running the point here, the second teamer for head coach Jeff Teague. And he misses the first free throw. Davis has not hit a free throw coming into the game all season. He was hadn't shot a free throw, really. He was 0 for 0, and he misses that one. Red Devils. Trying to get a win here on their home court. They're 1 and 0 at home as that free throw good by TJ Davis. Three point lead. Pikes 1 and 0 at home. They've played one home game. That was against Indy Metro, and they won that about a week ago now. And Brownsburg, they're 2 and 1 on the road. They've played three road games, 2 and 1. So they're above 500. Pikes, one game above 500 as well. This one's shaping up to be a great finish. If you're just joining us, Graham Shear. Providing play-by-play -play commentary here for, for you on RDTV. And there's a turnover. Brownsburg throws it out of bounds. It was Lanamere looking for Jordan Lomax. And Coach Lynch cannot be happy with that one. A turnover on Brownsburg. A chance for Pike to extend the lead. Aiden Woods crosses the timeline. Hands off to Davis. Davis looking for a shot into the paint. Backing out. Running around here. And he'll have to kick out to Mike Irving. Irving won't take the screen. Instead, he'll throw it out of bounds. Intended for Davis, but off of his feet. A bad pass by Mike Irving and a turnover on Pike. Brownsburg has the ball back. Chance to cut, into, cut in or take or tie the lead here. Porath. To Addison, up top, Lomax left all alone. Can't hit the shot, though. Rebound tipped into the hands of T.J. Davis. Davis, all the length, blocked by Porath, but a foul. It was Spencer Porath who got up high to swat that one, but it'll be a foul on Porath. That's going to be his second foul, second on Spencer Porath, and that will be... Another team foul on Brownsburg. Porath making his way over to the bench here. Looks like he might check out at the scorer's table. Grant Porath. He'll check in here as Davis knocks down the free throw. So staying hot from there, the sophomore. Puts the lead at four, 44 to 40 is your score. Grant Porath checks in for his brother Spencer. And Spencer will go to the bench. Grant Porath back onto the court. The 6'1 senior. Here is Davis off on that second free throw. So the lead remains four. And we are two minutes into this fourth quarter. And now another foul. Down away from the ball this time. It's going to go on TJ Davis of Pike. And it was Grant Porath who drew the foul. So it's uh, Davis who picks up his first foul. T.J. Davis in uh, number 11 in white for Pike. Picks up his first. A cutting English can't finish the shot. Offensive board, though, for the 6'5", Latimer. Only averaging about two rebounds a game. Grabs an important one here. And English will kick out. Lomax, who just missed a three, gets it to Grant Horath, who has been red hot here in the second half. Hasn't scored yet here in the fourth quarter, though, as Lomax. Bad pass. Stolen by Pike. Should be a jump ball. They will, well, what are they going to call here? They'll call a jump ball, and it will be in favor of Brownsburg. So Bulldogs will retain possession here, and they will be forced to throw in. Lomax over to the Brownsburg bench to throw this one in, and he got it to Grant. Porath, Porath, kicks out. Wide open three, a foul. The shot won't fall for Brandon Addison, but three free throws coming. That's twice tonight. Pike has closed out a little bit too aggressively, and they have fouled three point shooters. This time, Aiden Woods, you see him there, number 20 in white, draws the, or uh, fouls Addison, rather. And Brandon Addison will go to the line. Coming into today, he was four for four from the line. 
stays hot. He's missed a couple today, but he hits this one. Cuts in, cutting the lead down to three. If he hits all three free throws, which he will not as he misses that one, now he could cut the lead down to at most two if he hits the next one. Woods will check out with that foul. That's Aiden Woods' third foul. And Addison, one more free throw coming here. And he hit it. So the lead is two. TJ Davis still in there. Damon Howard will bring the ball up the court. Akeem Babola along with Titus Hunter, Mike Irving, TJ Davis. The five on the floor. Howard over to Davis. Looking for Hunter. Titus Hunter had 12 points the other day against Indy Metro. His season high. Now Mike Davis. TJ Davis. Pardon. Davis kicks out. Howard now will drive over to Mike Irving. Nothing working for Pike. They'll have to go out back to half court and reset. Irving, quick drive, just lost it on his way up. Great defense by Lomax and Porath the other way. Porath out to Addison, up to Lomax. He'll try one, left that one short. Long rebound to Pike. Numbers for the Red Devils. Irving to the rim, got fouled. Irving very aggressively down the court there. And the foul will go on Grant Porath, number 11. That's gonna be his second foul. You see him there next to Akeen Babola. And Porath picks up his second. So to the line. Mike Irving, who hits the first free throw. Irving, a 5'10 junior, averaging about four points and two rebounds a day. Just through two games. Hadn't hit a free throw before that one. He was 0 for 2 in the first two games. He's now 1 for 3. And now he's two for four. So Irving hits both. Lead for Pike, back up to four. A substitution as it is Irving who will sit down. And Dejan Hall back onto the game. So a couple of starters back out there. And also Akeem Babola sits down. Coriel Spates back onto the floor. The center will be Titus Hunter. And they got four guards out there to guard Brownsburg. No subs for the Bulldogs. Here's Addison, floats it up, blocked by Hunter. Hunter throws it back, ahead to Hall. Stopped, might have traveled, no call, and he'll lay it in. Dejon Hall, easy lay in after the pass and the assist from Damon Howard. Lomax stops, rolls around, kicks out, pass is intended for Porath. Thought he got shoved out of bounds. No call and a turnover on Brownsburg. Pike with the six point lead, 340 to go. We'll have possession. And Damon Howard at the helm. Brownsburg needs a stop here. For Pike, a bucket would be everything for you. Howard double teamed, and he is going to be. Now there'll be a, they'll call timeout. Heads up coaching play by Jeff Teague, able to call that timeout right as Howard was getting double teamed. Might have been a tougher situation had it been a turnover for Pike. Nonetheless, a timeout, and the Red Devils will talk about it. We'd like to take this moment to this opportunity to thank Corteva AgriScience, our friends there, for supporting Pike's success. Cortiva regularly invests their time, expertise, and capital in a variety of initiatives and activities that positively impact our schools. And also, the Pike Township Educational Foundation exists solely to enhance the education of Pike students through scholarships and grants for educator-driven projects. Since its founding in 1993, the Pike Township Educational Foundation has awarded nearly a half a million dollars 
in scholarships and over $650,000 in grants. To learn more, please visit www.pike-ef.org. 48-42. Student section getting pretty hyped up over there on the sideline. This has been a fun matchup and don't expect it to be any less than a fun finish. 324 to go, a six point lead for the Red Devils. Pike trying to get over 500 for the first time this season. They started 0-1. They are now 1-1 after the win against Indy Metro. To start the season, they lost to Hamilton South Southeastern, the Red Devils, but trying to get their second win here. Davis kicks out. Spates short on a three. That one, the crowd would have erupted if he would have hit that one. Porath quickly the other way. He lost it, but he got fouled. Dejon Hall is going to be targeted and called with the personal there. Hall picks up just his first foul, but that'll be the team's fourth on Pike. So one more, and the Bulldogs will be in the bonus, and Porath will inbound. Only three team fouls right now on Pike. Here's Porath. And that's blocked by Hunter. Blocked again by Hunter. What defense. And it was Latimer who cleaned it up. What an effort by Titus Hunter with a couple of blocks there. But Brownsburg, excellent job by Brendan Latimer, who was able to get the offensive rebound. And he got the bucket. So just a four point lead. Pike. No shot clock here in high school basketball. They don't have to shoot it if they don't want to. They're going to hold on to it, and that's going to be a kicked ball on the pass by T.J. Davis, kicked by Josiah Loss. So that one could have been dangerous if you're uh, if you're T.J. Davis, but fortunately for him, they call a kicked ball, and it will still be Pike possession. They inbound to Dijon Hall. Gets it back to Damon Howard. Up top, Hall, free throw line, extended jumper is down. Dijon Hall, a big bucket for Pike, and they go up by six. Here's Addison, straight line to the basket. He got fouled, he missed the layup, but he'll go to the charity stripe. Couple of free throws coming on the foul by Pike. Foul goes on Titus Hunter. That's his fourth. He's got to be careful. One more and he's gone. 2.02 to play. And if you're Coach Teague, are you thinking about overtime here? Are you thinking about Hunter not being available if he picks up that fifth foul, not being available for an overtime period if it comes to that? Brandon Addison misses the first free throw. That's a tough miss if you're Brandon Addison and if you're Coach Steve Lynch. But he hits that one. So a big free throw there brings it to five. Timeout, Steve Lynch. We'll take a quick break. A five point lead for Pike. Two minutes, two seconds to play here from Pike High School to decide this one. And Pike will go into the timeout with a five point lead. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on RDTV. Here at Pike High School, Red Devil Ball, five point lead, 202 to play. Looks like Brownsburg will draw up the full court press, something they've probably practiced. They'll try and force a turnover, but nonetheless, they have to get a stop here. How long until they foul? I believe they have one foul to give. They have actually two fouls to give, only three team fouls on Brownsburg. They won't need it though. Titus Hunter down low, got the bucket. Wonderful pass inside in a wonderfully run offense there by Jeff Teague and the Pike Red Devils who go up by seven. Here's, that was Lomax who got fouled. He missed the easy layup. 
Would have loved to have had that one back, but nonetheless, he'll go to the line. Couple of free throws here. Brownsburg started the season with a win at North Central. They also won at Liberty Christian, and then they lost their first loss of the year, a three-point 49-46 loss to Franklin Central back on December 1st. And then a week ago yesterday, or a week ago tomorrow, I should say, Warren Central, they beat them by five, 49-44, that final score. Pike, however, they started the year with a loss, a four-point loss. Or Pardon, they started a, a, a loss with a loss to uh, Hamilton Southeastern. That was a 14-point loss, 68-54. And then they got the win against Indy Metro, 74-49 last Friday night on December 1st. Both free throws good by Lomax. Makes it that five-point game. And here's a foul on Brownsburg in transition. So to the line, Dejon Hall. No, that, that was the foul to give. So... Pike will inbound. TJ Davis to Damon Hall, minute 25. Will they foul him? They get it up to Davis. Hall, inside pass. Hunter floats it up. They got it to go. Titus Hunter, a quick floater in a big bucket. Big four points and big two buckets and a travel. Lomax walked with it. Titus Hunter. Four good, great points for Pike and a travel on the other end by Jordan Lomax. In the backcourt for Damon Howard. He'll dribble around to this near side. Go back to the other side, TJ Davis there. He'll dribble into the front court, forced out of bounds, off of himself. Nice defense over there by Sloss and it'll be Brownsburg ball, down by seven. Can they come back here? Should be a fun finish, minute and two seconds. 62 seconds. Brownsburg needs a bucket. Addison to Porath. Timeout. Steve Lynch will call another timeout here, and they'll talk things over. Brownsburg needs a bucket. Down by seven, 58 seconds to go, under a minute. They need a bucket, and they need it desperately. Let's see if they can get it when we come back here on RDTV. in his first head coaching year with the Pike Red Devils. This is where he went to high school. And he's back in the red and black for Pike. Teague, 58 seconds away from getting the Red Devils to two and one on the year. They have to withstand a couple of Bulldogs possessions here. Brownsburg has it. Porath has the ball on the wing, double teamed. Smart double team by Pike. Get it out of his hands. Michael Addison has it. They're wasting some time here. They have to go quick. Got it to Porath. Here is Porath into the corner. Addison will try a three in and out. That one halfway down, and it'll go out of bounds to Brownsburg. Hunter tipped it out there on the baseline. And it will be Brownsburg ball just over 30 seconds to go. And a sub, J.D. Lynch into the game. He'll inbound the ball. Brandon Addison will sit down for the time being. 31 and a half seconds. 54-47. Porath launches one. Tried to draw a foul. Didn't get it. Offensive board, though. Back out. Porath again. Hit it. Grant Porath. Makes it a two possession game, a four point lead for Pike. And what a big shot by Grant Porath. 
but a devastating missed rebound by the Red Devils. A great offensive board by Michael Addison and the assist to him as Porath hits another triple. Now 23.2 seconds to go. And the Red Devils will have possession here. 54 to 50. What a game. Brownsburg with a loss would fall to three and two on the year and the Bulldogs Bulldogs will go back home tomorrow they'll play back at Brownsburg against Chesterton that's a 6 p.m. tip off on for uh, for Brownsburg for Pike for Pike their next matchup also tomorrow here against Yorktown. That's a 3.30 p.m. game. And we have a timeout here on Jeff Teague as they couldn't get the ball inbounded, but he didn't like what Brownsburg had there on defense. Now he'll call a 30-second timeout and draw up an inbound play. So with that, we'll take a quick break here. Four-point lead for Pike. 23.2 remains on the clock. Can Pike finish this one off? Can they knock off the Bulldogs? Find out next here on RDTV. timeout by Jeff Teague. Pike can run the baseline. They'll inbound and we have a foul before the inbound pass. It's going to go on Brownsburg and they are going to call it on Brandon Sharp, the freshman who just checked in for defensive purposes, number 14 in black. He checks in, picks up a quick foul. That is another foul for Brownsburg and they are in the and the Red Devils are in the bonus. So Pike to the basket for a couple of free throws here. T.J. Davis, two free throws, could extend the lead to six if he makes both. Davis has been hot from the free throw line and he stays hot. He hits that one, lead up to five. Big free throw by T.J. Davis. Spates checks in. And looks like Dejon Hall will go to the bench. Damon Howard will remain out there. 23 seconds to go. Davis at the line, second free throw. Misses that one, rebound to Brownsburg. Here is Grant Porath, got the shot up and got, got blocked. Damon Howard spades the other way, got blocked! And the guy got back, Akeem Babola. Amazing offensive rebound there and he puts it in. Lomax misses the shot. Addison can't get it to go. Addison, second effort, no good and that's it. Pike has knocked off the Bulldogs. And what a game it was. The Red Devils with a 57 to 50 win over the Brownsburg Bulldogs. What a game. Pike's gonna improve to two and one on the season and the Bulldogs fall to three and two. So Pike with an excellent win, Brownsburg a heartbreaking loss here. They'll go home, and again, Brownsburg will face Chesterton tomorrow. For Pike, they'll have Yorktown here tomorrow at a 3.30 p.m. tip-off. Join us tomorrow on the Pike High School YouTube channel. The girls' basketball Marion County Tournament tips off at 10 a.m. So again, you can watch on the Pike High School YouTube channel, and also join us next Friday on the Pike High School YouTube channel for a goal girls and boys doubleheader next Friday, December 15th. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. and the boys game will follow right after that. Girls tip off at 6, boys following after that. Your final score, 57 to 50. 
and so and for some uh, end of the game credits superintendent of the metropolitan school district of pike township is dr larry young pike high school principal is mr jeremy wally athletic directors are dave panic and kendra champion mcaloon interim chief technology officer is chad heck coordinating producer is miss tammy fly mccall director has been dan bordenkecker and our technical director is eli bucken Technical manager tonight was Kyle Bredoff and Todd Riker, and our graphics operator has been Ezreal Bernie. Tonight's camera operators were Elijah Warner, Eni Omotoso, Jadarius Elliott, T. Grady, and Destiny Timms. My name is Graham Shear. So long, but join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. for the girls' Marion County Tournament right here on RDTV. 57 to 50 is your final score for Graham Shear. Signing off so long from Pike High School.